Riot released an item update as well as just some preseason information in general a few minutes ago this morning. And one of the things that was noticeable for me in the video as a Jinx main, and maybe you too, was Jinx dashing in the video. Now no, this is not a Jinx rework, instead let's talk about the mythic items that will be coming in the game in the preseason that AD carries and probably other AD champions as well can buy as well. A first quick note, Riot Scruffy added. Big update on preseason item overhaul, a new item class, Mythic Items, very powerful, but you can only have one. Mythic Items shape your build and add unique stats to your other items. More work in progress item shop interface, and there's also a player behavior update as well in this video as well. Now, going for the uh, Mythic Items and what's work in progress for the Marksman class right now, I say AD champions in general for the third item, and we'll get to that in a little bit. But the first one's called Crimson Shield Bow. It has 50 attack damage, 15% attack speed, 20% critical strike chance, and 12% lifesteal. When you take damage that will reduce your health by 30, below 30%, gain a 100 to 500 health shield for 3 seconds, and 20% increased lifesteal for 8 seconds. Mythic Passive empowers other legendary items with 8 plus armor and magic resist. This one's good for an assassin. If you're dealing with an assassin in your game, no one's peeling for you, no one's doing anything for you, you buy this item. The reason I say even though it's for the marksman class, I feel other AD champions will buy it, because sometimes assassins don't want to play against other assassins. If you're lane and you're Talon in lane, you don't want to deal with that Kha'Zix anymore. Maybe you buy this item just to survive ganks from them, especially if your other mid laner enemy champ is also an assassin too. I feel like there's nothing here that would say, you. it's, like, it's not like it's a range only item. Item, basically is what I'm saying so I'm not thinking this is above other AD champions buying it the same way AD carries by lethality items and stuff like that too right like it's an AD item even though it might be designed for the marksman class I feel like it could be good on just any AD champion that you might want to build this on if you're having assassin problems which is what this item is um some people because I did see Red Mercy's video before I even saw the main video come out to be honest some people are like Oh, assassins are over. Uh, I disagree with that only on the uh, extent of this isn't going to be like a must buy item for every game. This isn't going to be like a it's the meta item now. This isn't going to become like the infinity edge of AD carry items, right? This is just for if you're dealing with assassins though and they're very problematic, you build this item. If you're not dealing with assassins that are problematic or you just feel like you need more damage or something else instead, you would still go with that other item. And we're talking about some of the other items too, of course, because you can only build one mythic item. So if that game presents itself in a way where you need one of those other mythic items, you can't build this anyways and assassins can still do their thing possibly if they're skillful. Assassins are one of the most skillful classes in the game, for better or for worse, so there is that level that is needed to play those champions as it is. So I do feel bad for them if this does, if I end up being wrong and Red Mercy ends up being right. I just feel like it's probably going to be more in the middle between me being like super optimistic and maybe him being the quote unquote pessimistic on the spectrum that I just talked about. Behemoth Slayer. By the way, these are all 3400 gold, so they're not like cheap like zeal items 2600 either. A 60 attack damage, 25 attack speed, 20% critical strike, no life steal, but every third attack deals 80 to 240 plus 30% bonus AD additional true damage. Same mythic passive. Now this was in the video they described as an item where what if you can trust your team to peel for you and you want more DPS like sieging ability and stuff like that, right? Basically, again, if you're a Jinx and the, your, your team's actually protecting you from like the enemy Zed or something like that, right? So what you want to do is like, okay, well if my team's going to actually keep me alive, I want to do my job at destroying towers. Because at the end of the day, Champions like Jinx, Tristana specifically in the AD carry class, they're demolitionists more than anything else. Just get them to the towers, they will destroy those towers as long as you keep them safe. Think of them like an escort mission in a video game, or like, what was it, uh, Team Fortress, uh, where you have to escort the bomb or a tank or something like that to a specific target, and then the tank will demolish that target, or the bomb will blow up that base. That's what the demolitionist AD carries are like. And this is an item possibly for them if they feel like they're on a team they can trust to get them to these objectives. Baron, the Nexus even, right? There you go. That's what this item, they specifically kind of described it as in the video. It's like, a, hey, if you feel safe, do this instead. And if you buy this, you can't protect yourself from the Assassin when it's late game. And even though they're losing all game, they win a, finally win a team fight. They ace you and then they win the game at 40 minutes. And it doesn't really matter that you were 10 and 1. That one death did it for you and the whole team. So there we go. Despair. This was the one that Jinx used in the video specifically though, called Gale Force. It's a 3400 gold, again all the items seem to be 3400 gold, 60 attack damage, 15% attack speed, 20% critical strike, all those stats seem to be uh, very much the same. They're not too crazy, but they are kind of all consistent as well, so that way whatever item you go, you're getting basically the same stats on all of them. 
uh, but the active is the interesting one. Dash a short distance, cannot cross walls, and deals 105 to 240 plus 30% bonus AD magic damage to the lowest health nearby enemy. Damage increases with enemy missing health. Now, two things. One, this is why, and uh, Red Mercy mentioned this in his video too, again, um, like why would there be a dash? Ada Carries most likely won't want to be using the dash for damage. I'm not going to smash Jinx's face against anybody's body to try and do damage with them. I have a minigun. I'm just going to shoot them instead. That's how, how it works, you know what I mean? But this is why I say that it might be, and I give credit to him because he mentioned this too before I did, uh, champions like uh, Trindomir or something, this might be something they want instead, especially when those champions literally dash into champions in champions right and again these are all ad items that doesn't seem to be gated by being locked out to just the ad carry role like just range champions the same way some items are melee only so something like a trinomir maybe might want this something like even assassin as a matter of fact which is why like i said i kind of disagreed but i'm also this is why i also kind of disagreed as well with the statement earlier that we said red mercy said was what if an assassin wanted to build this item for some reason to increase their mobility right it could be interesting, it could also be very terrible, because assassins might want to get in and get out as well, but in case someone flashes, depending on how far the dash range is, you might want to be like, oh, you flashed away from me after I ulted you, well, I'm just going to dash into you, and I still don't have to use my flash yet, and if you somehow still get away, I have my flash, or I'm Talon, in which case I keep jumping over everything until you have jumping nightmares, and then when you can't sleep without seeing Assassin's Creed and also all those hopscotch fields on recess back in grade school, because dang it, Talon. Dang. But anyways, right, like, this is the one that with Jinx and other AD carries, especially immobile AD carries, you can use the dash to get away from stuff. I talked about this originally today's Let's Talk Jinx is going to be more about Jinx's kit. Some people talking about a rework because AD carries nowadays that come out seem to kind of outdo her just because of the sheer vastness of what's in their kits. Uh, that the whole, there's no power creep, but there kind of is because if you look at Jinx and her release in 2013 versus like Samira or Aphelios now, it's like there's definitely been something different that's changed, right? Uh, right? But originally what I was going to talk about in there was about, oh, what if you could uh, activate Get Excited for free uh, for one dash, even though, and then put it on like a cooldown for like a minute or so, and that way you don't get resets either, uh, even if you get kills within that minute, and that's how that would balance that out for the sake of mobility and keeping Jinx alive. Uh, that was just a for fun idea though, not something I actually think Riot should do. This kind of just answered that question out of nowhere, where it's like, well, how about you just have an item that just gives you that dash, basically that reposition, that one-time use, because it probably has an active that goes on a cooldown for some period of time, and then that way you can decide, hey, well, this thing, like, basically everything's running me down in this game nowadays. When you're a 325 movement speed champion with really no escapes except the flame chompers, people can't jump over those, but they can go around them. Uh, so, uh, this kind of answers that question. And granted, the thing that I feel like is fair about this item, and again, it's my job to be optimistic here because we're talking about Jinx, uh, but in general, what I feel like is fair about this item is once again, other 80 champions can build it too. So even though you have it on Jinx, the enemy Trindomir might still have it and still be able to dash dash to you, right? So it kind of negates your dash. There are ways it can already kind of be countered, even on a champion like Jinx, where their whole thing, their whole weakness, their whole, the whole thing about them, how you deal with them, even if they're fed, is that they're immobile, right? If a Kog'Maw can use this to peel for a little bit that's great but if your team has 80 champions that also have this then what's the point the point is repositioning it comes down to skill at that point who has the better mindset in a team fight to position in the correct position to be able to take advantage of how you use your dash of course that's the counter answer to my own answer thank you past me answering future me's question that was weird but that's the idea of why i guess these these don't feel like they'll be super broken in terms of what they want to accomplish goal wise the numbers might need to be tweaked as this goes on, but to be fair, right? Note, it's worth noting, not all mystic items will be fully new items. Some of our iconic old items will be upgraded into mythic items so that they can still be built defining purchase first. We're getting close to the PBE where you all be able to see everything that is planned and give tons of feedback. Don't be alarmed if it's not 100% perfect and polished yet. We're listening and adapting. We will put in whatever follow-up we need to to get these right. So most of the first time, or most of the time, Mythics will be a first item buy. There's no hard rule, so there'll still be builds that you'll buy them second, I'm sure. Also, if you missed it, a tease of one of our new AP Fighter items, the Cursed Demon Helm as well, but we're not probably playing AP Jinx for a while, unless a really fun game mode comes out that prioritizes like off-meta builds or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, so like Riot will be listening. They, they know these numbers, and these will probably be broken on the PvE. It's the PvE. It's supposed to be broken. It's at the point in iteration where they need to kind of release it so they can 
could finally test it by putting it in a bunch of players' hands, which is the whole point of the PvE. That's why there's not a European PvE server. They're not looking for competitive games, they're looking for the cleanest games, they're just looking to get as much feedback and data on things as they can at that point. So yes, I'm warning you, right now, it might be broken, but that's not a reason for alarm or to complain or be wild and sensational, because that's the whole point so they can polish it later on. So, with that being said, when you give your feedback on these items, don't say things like, it's broken, please remove it, that's not good feedback. Actually maybe give constructive feedback if you want Riot to actually listen to you and make these items as good as they can be. And the Jinx mains, I'm not really worried about that, that's more for an in general kind of a thing, because people always like to be, don't do it, just remove it. Well, why do you feel that way? Maybe Riot can't address it if you knew how to use more than five words and the rest is just curse words. So I'm just going to call those people out immediately and just say that. But I'm going to end this video, because this video's been long enough, and say thank you so much for watching this video. What do you think of these items? I'm particularly excited for Gale Force, just because I feel like if one of my weaknesses, outside of just being bad at the game, is that there's a lot of mobility, it feels like, on the enemy team nowadays, that honestly, I don't even blame my supports for not being able to peel for me, because, like, there's so much it feels like they have to juggle sometimes, depending on the team comp nowadays. Uh, this puts a little bit of that power back in my hand, too. Of course, it's going to be the classic, I dash away when someone's trying to save my life, so I still die. Uh, uh, you dashed away from Thresh Lantern. Guess what? Thresh can't save you. You're out of his range now. Good job. But in general, in all seriousness, I think these items could be good. They might need some polish, but I am a little bit excited for them. And what do you think as a Jinx player, as an AD carry player, whoever you are watching this video at this point in the video, comment in the comment section down below. But thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell notification, the actual subscribe button. But I don't know which video will be next, because life can have a lot of kinks. So until next time, take care. GG, get jinxed. Thank you for watching and enjoy pizza responsibly.